Hey, what's up, my people? Cornell Germain here with hashtag Consult Cornell. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I want to talk about something that has been very, uh, uh, has been has been quite common now in our culture as it pertains to hair. We have a lot of people that are uh, are dismissing or walking away from what we've known as the creamy crack relaxer, and they're going to natural curly uh, hair and they're, they're, they're enjoying and embracing their own natural hair texture and that to me is an amazing, amazing journey and it's one that is rewarding and actually you can do things with your hair when it's natural. It's not just you have to wear this big fro unless you want to like me, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to wear straight and you want to wear wavy, absolutely, absolutely is possible. I have clients of my own who go from curly to straight often, you know what I'm saying? You have to approach that situation in a certain way because if you if you go to uh, uh, too straight or you use the wrong heating elements or the wrong heating temperature then you can ultimately alter that curl over time which means when you decide to go back curly you know things won't be as as curly as you once uh, as they once were so you have to approach that differently so this is what I'm talking about today but I'm talking about growing out of the relaxer listen there are only really two main ways that you can get rid of a relaxer for you ladies who have been wearing relaxers for many years there's only two ways you can do it and that is to one let it slowly grow out honestly let me take that back there's really only one way you can get rid of it but there are two um two approaches you can take there's only one way to get rid of a relaxed hair and that is to cut it out period there's only one way to get rid of it. But there's two approaches that you can take to that. The approach one being to cut slowly down to the new growth. What happens is sometimes women who have long lengths, who have been wearing relaxers, they tend to want to do a different look. They want to go out of, uh, grow out of it. Um, but for that woman who is not ready to chop her hair completely off, which is the latter uh, option of, or approach to getting it uh, rid of relaxed hair, they, they tend to approach it slowly. So you cut a little bit every every few weeks, every month. Cut a little bit, change the style, and before you know it, you've cut, you've cut all of that relaxer out of the hair, and now you have nothing but natural curl in your hair. That is the only way to get rid of a relaxer. Cut it out. You can approach it by slowly getting rid of the ends, and slowly as you trim the ends, you're slowly every month when you trim, you're slowly taking that relaxed hair off. And before you know it, you'll have this beautiful head of curly hair that is just all yours, it's all your natural hair. The only reason I think it's necessary to slowly approach it is for those women who want to maintain a certain look. Uh, those women that want to maintain a nice bob length or something like that, they not, they're not necessarily wanting to cut their hair completely off and let it grow back out. So what happens is as your hair grows, you take more off the ends. So you get about an inch, inch and a half, uh, some people a little bit more, every, I say four to six weeks, your hair grows. As your hair grows in the active stage of hair growth, you continue to chop more off the ends. So now you're gaining a half inch or a quarter inch or an inch, however, much, however fast your hair grows, and you're cutting off a half inch. You're gaining an inch and cutting off a half inch. So you're kind of almost like replacing that relaxed hair with the natural hair and as it continues to grow you cut a little bit off cut a little bit off and before you know it you'll still have a maintained a nice length but you'll have curly natural hair that's the best way to approach it if you're wanting to maintain the length of your hair one thing is key though if you're that person that wants to maintain your hair length as and get rid of the relaxer over time you're gonna have to keep that hair hydrated or moisturize it is absolutely necessary that the hair is hydrated moisturized and lubricated it is absolutely necessary if that hair is not hydrated properly where that hair that natural hair starts and that relaxed previous relaxed hair uh where that natural hair ends and that previous relaxed hair starts which is what we call in the professional field the line of demarcation where that hair starts that relaxed hair starts you're going to find severe breakage and i mean severe breakage if you do not keep your hair properly moisturized and hydrated because what is happening here is you have two different hair types in your head
You have natural hair, which is uh, typically more porous and, and, and has, it's more healthy, it's stronger. And then you have this weakened hair, which is relaxed. That weakened hair will snap if you're not careful. As you're combing through it, blow drying through it, wet, especially when it's wet. You're doing all these things, styling it and pulling on it. It's going to snap. You're going to have to keep it moisturized and properly lubricated if you want to wear your hair as you get rid of the relaxer. Also, what I recommend typically though is to get a style where you don't have to actually bother with your hair. Go into braids, go into faux locks, get some dreads, uh, natural dreads or twisties or something like that where you can actually put your hair away for a while. Remove the heat, all that, keep it hydrated, keep it, keep it uh, very uh, moisturized still, but you don't have to use the heating elements. And as you continue to maintain those styles, that hair will continue to grow. And when you get that hair rebraided or relocked or retwisted, you just cut the ends off. Continue to cut. Continue to cut. Every time you take it down and get it redone, continue to cut. And before you know it, your hair will be natural. Your curl, natural curl pattern will be a lot more uh, uh, stronger and, and, and vigorous because you haven't continued to put that heat on it. On the second note, for those who want to uh, go to the extreme and you, you're ready to get rid of it, you're tired of the relaxed hair, find out where that line of demarcation is, where we just talked about. Find that line of demarcation and cut it right there. Psh, cut it right off. Now you've cut all that relaxer out and you have natural hair because this is all new growth and new growth is ultimately version hair you know and now you you, you find a look or find a style or a cut that complements the look that you want and you got it you got a full head of natural beautiful curly wavy whatever your texture is hair Hope this helps you in your journey to getting rid of relaxed hair and continue to uh, keep the questions, suggestions, and everything's coming. If you want to comment down below, it's all absolutely up to you. I'll take your questions and we'll showcase them on our next episode. Again, this is Cornell Germain with hashtag Consult Cornell. Until next time, take care.